Today I wanted to speak to you about browser-based virtual reality. Virtual reality is becoming a big thing, especially in education. Um, what I wanted to do today is to look at virtual reality in the e-learning perspective and see how it can be used uh, in a sustainable manner. When you look at uh, virtual reality in, in the present, you can see that many international organizations such as UNESCO and World Bank are taking note of the power it brings to education. Also, if you, uh, if you look at um, YouTube, you can see there are uh, many 360 degree videos available by Discovery Channel and National Geographic, which can be used freely. If you're looking at goggles, there are open source, very affordable, very cheap goggles available, such as the Google Cardboard. And also the open source community is taking note and bringing out uh, virtual reality platforms such as A-Frame. However, the, the issue with uh, using uh, this type of virtual reality in e-learning is that it is too much work. Imagine if you are a um, learner who is learning part time, you know, half the work, and you have to download a virtual reality app, uh, load it, put it onto a virtual reality goggles, and then view that component uh, while you are learning on a browser. Now, this becomes too much work and it really uh, deters people from using virtual reality in the teaching and learning sense. Now, uh, as a solution to this, as a potential solution to this, I thought uh, of exploring browser-based virtual reality. Now here I have a very simple browser-based virtual reality experience. I call it Anatomy Explorer. I developed it using the A-Frame open source um, platform. Now uh, it's a very simple uh, demonstration. Um, you can pretty much go into the two models. I only have two models here and you can uh, rotate it in 3D space and have a look at it. And once you're done, you can put it back. And then if I, if I move to the human body here, I can bring it out and then I can have a look at the human body in 3D space. Now, this is a very simple uh, virtual reality application. However, since it is browser-based, it's very, simple and easy for a learner to experience and use on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, why would we go into uh, browser-based virtual reality um, instead of the conventional? Firstly, it, it provides you with instant access. It's URL-based, you just type in a URL and you are taken to the virtual reality experience directly on your browser. You don't need to download applications, you don't need to install them, you don't need to update them. Also, for from the developer's perspective, uh, you can continue to improve on your virtual reality experience and uh, when the user uses it, uh, you always get the latest version. It has easy integration of web data, such as you know bringing in YouTube videos, bringing in Wikipedia, um, and integrating it directly into the uh, virtual reality experience on the browser. Now, this is done very easily because there are open APIs available which you can use for this particular purpose. It's cross-platform compatible. You know, you don't have to build for mobile. You don't have to build for iOS or Android or Windows. Um, many browsers are now HTML5 compatible. And, uh, you know, you can use any browser to view these virtual reality experiences they are faster and cheaper to develop. Um, you can use open source platforms. I mentioned um, A-Frame, uh, which I use for my development. Um, and, you know, it's very simple to develop. It's mostly HTML5 and JavaScript. So the development becomes um, very fast and also the cost uh, comes down. Another very interesting thing is um, the ability for uh, educators to do it themselves. They can build their own virtual reality uh, environments with a little bit of uh, programming experience. Now, this becomes a very attractive proposition when it comes to e-learning, bringing new, new pedagogies and integrating virtual reality in your, into your existing um, e-learning platforms, into your existing e-learning modules. Uh, since it is browser-based, you can always put it into learning management systems such as Moodle uh, and your or a WordPress or any other content management system as well. So in this sense, I believe that browser-based virtual reality is much more sustainable 
um, and can be used in a much more effective manner in e-learning. I would really like to hear your views on it. So if you have any comments, please leave in the uh, comments section below. Um, and I hope we can work together towards um, perhaps developing the Anatomy Explorer Virtual Reality Experience um, into a much more robust application. Thank you very much and take care.